So I'm going to do a quick video on how to upgrade the RAM in a laptop. I'm using a, a Lenovo T60. This procedure will be very similar for many of the ThinkPad uh, models. You're going to want to remove the bottom palm rest to get to the RAM. Now on the T60s, the T500s, the T400s, uh, what this requires is that you remove all of the little mark, all of the little screws that are marked with the little RAM symbol. On the T60, there are four screws. This is the section that you're going to want to remove. You can easily just stick your fingers in there, pull up like that, and then release the ribbon cable. That gives you access to the memory in here. You'll see there are two bays. On many models, one bay will be underneath the keyboard and one will be on the bottom side. So really it just depends on what model you have. I've got some extra RAM sticks here, so I'm just going to throw one in to show you how to seat the RAM. What you're going to notice is there's a little lip, just like in your RAM stick. Make sure you get the proper RAM. The T60 uses DDR2. And you're going to come in at a 45 degree angle. Push in at the 45 degree angle until it seats in there firmly. You should not be able to see any of the little golden teeth at the bottom. Seat it in there firmly and then press down until it clicks. And that's all you have to do. Now for removing it, if you have to remove your RAM stick so you can get bigger capacity ones in there, just push out on the little, the little metal clasps and that will allow you to take it out. You can put it right back in, just like that. Some of them might give you a little bit of a hard time, so it'll take some finagling. Okay, once they're both in there, make sure they're firmly seated. If your RAM is not seated properly, you'll get beep errors and it will not start up. Now when you're putting this piece of plastic back on, you want to make sure it clasps up underneath it first before you push it down. And just make sure it's all down. And there are two little lips on the sides here. Those are going to need to go down as well. So you need to make sure that they get seated properly in there. And then flip it over, replace the screws, and you've upgraded your RAM.